Now we'll study Kepler's laws of planetary motion. About Kepler's laws, we can write that these laws are formulated to understand basics of planetary motion. Around sun, and even these laws are equally valid for motion of satellites around a planet. Also, generally these are formulated to understand basics of planetary motion around sun. We can write, and these are also applicable for satellite motion. Around a planet, we'll discuss these laws one by one. In general, there are three Kepler's laws. So we'll start with the Kepler's first law. And this Kepler's first law is also known as law of orbits because it is related with the shape of orbits. And this law states that All the planets move around sun in elliptical orbits with the sun located at one of the foci of ellipse. This is the statement of Kepler's first law. If we just have a look on the situation of how the planets move around the sun, here you can see the picture. Here you can see that this is the planet which moves around the sun in elliptical orbit. In the similar manner which we have discussed that a satellite can also move in elliptical path around a planet. So when the planet is moving. The gravitational force on planet due to sun will be directed toward the sun, and we can see that its angular momentum remains conserved. So when it will reach the farthest point, the velocity of planet will be minimum, and when it will reach the nearest point, the velocity of planet will be maximum. With respect to sun, the nearest point is termed as a perihelion point. And the farthest point is termed as the aphelion point, and these distances of planet with respect to sun, say this is our minimum, and the other distance which is our maximum, these distances are termed as this minimum distance is termed as the perigee, and this maximum distance, the distance of aphelion point with respect to sun, is termed as Apogee. So this is the Kepler's first law, which states that a planet revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit, with sun as located at one of the foci of ellipse. It is just a theoretical statement, which is termed as law of orbits. Now, in the next section, we are going to discuss about Kepler's second law.